Hello YouTube, welcome back. A couple of things I wanted to show today and uh, let's get started with them. So, uh, continuation from my last video of uh, uh, the Would You Rather game uh, with uh, the Mexican uh, quarter ounce Libertad and the um, uh, 8 gram uh, 2016 Panda. Uh, looks like the overwhelming majority of you had chosen the Libertad, which is what I had done too. Um, so I already have one in the capsule. I put that away already, so I can't bring that out. So I just purchased this one from uh, Atmex last week. Uh, it just come in the mail the other day. Uh, they still have the deal on this, so if anybody uh, is interested in it, uh, it's actually lower now than the price is lower than when I had purchased it because it's gold has uh, gold price had dropped. So it is back down to three hundred and forty-seven dollars for those of you that can afford it. Um, this is a great deal because uh, uh, the mintage of this is only one thousand, so that's um, pretty low. Um, the previous years are. Uh, uh, I had the mint edition around that level as well. Uh, the year before, I think it was 1,200, and the year before that, I think well, one of, one of them was even as low as 750. But uh, this one, uh, 2016, there were a thousand. So uh, put this in the capsule when we're done, and the beautiful coin. Here is the reverse of the eagle and the snake, and the libertad. Okay, so that's the first thing I wanted to show. Then I wanted to show my uh, local... Uh, um, we had a coin show here uh, last weekend, and uh, I had gone and saw a few things, um, most notably uh, these copper rounds. Uh, I didn't really pay attention to these when they came out a few um, years ago. I know some people have already um, made some videos of them, but uh, you know they were selling them there for um, $1.50 a piece. Well, two for three dollars actually. If you buy one, it'll be two dollars. But later on, I found out um, you can get them even cheaper <laughs> at Provident. Provident sells these for a dollar a round. So uh, this is one ounce. Um, it's not a troy ounce, but it, it's a, another measure for copper. So this one is a replica of the Standing Liberty quarter, and uh, looks pretty much the same on the uh, obverse. On the reverse, is completely different. Uh, there's an eagle that says a copper, uh, 999 flying copper round. So um, this was the first one. Then I got the uh, oh, St. Gaudens uh, design here. Uh, this is the design in the front of the um, American Gold Eagle. So this one is an eagle in the back. It's different than the Gold Eagle design. And these look lovely. I think they're 40 millimeters. Let's check it out. Uh, yeah, they're about 39, 40 millimeters. I'm not going to bother putting them into airtight since uh, you know they're copper and look like large pennies. So this one is the um, uh, looks like the um, Morgan dollar. So don't remember what the symbol is, but that's the front of the Morgan dollar. And the eagle, another eagle in the back. This one's my favorite. Look how shiny this is. I think I picked a, <laughs> picked a, a really good one here at the Peace Dollar. Uh, 1921 is the first year of issue. Um, it's a little bit banged up on the edge here, but it's only a dollar fifty coin. So uh, this one doesn't flip. Yeah, usually in the American North American coins, on the obverse, in reverse, you flip it around and uh, it's upside down. But this one, a little bit different. You flip it around this way. Okay, so this eagle looks like the eagle in the uh, Kennedy half dollar. Okay, then this one looks like the Walking Liberty. And this obviously looks like uh, the design on the American Silver Eagle. And again, this eagle is like the Peace Dollar where you flip this way rather than upside down. And a prospector round. I don't have any prospector silver round, so this one looked really nice. And this one flips upside down. Okay, so these are my copper rounds. I also ran across some Libertads, some old Libertads. 
Now, these will fill in my collection because I've been looking to do a date series of these. Um, I have the original uh, year release of uh, 2000. Uh, I'm sorry, about 1982 was the first year of the Libertad. Um, this is the old design. And on the edge here is it's not read it and it says uh, Liber Independence. Independence Libertad. Okay, so got an 83. Still looks like it's in good shape. Then an 84. Local coin dealer had a pretty good price on these. $21 a piece. A few dollars over spot, so I figure, you know, these will fit in with my, uh, uh, I'm to fill in the holes in my date series. And then, also an 85. Again, design's the same for all these years. And I also picked up a Philharmonic, 2010 Philharmonic. I am looking to do a uh, date collection for the Philharmonic as well. Um, this is the only government coin that doesn't have rigid edges. Um, I already have a few of them, but um, we'll fill in the holes with um, uh, purchases from JM Bullion. I think they have pretty good, the best prices on, on the Philharmonics, although they're missing the 2011, which is what I need. Okay, then I had also purchased some more Libertades. I went crazy on Libertades. I got this on eBay. 2013. This is the new design, which is a larger diameter. And then also a 2012. And I got an old Kookaburra. I love these old ones. They're very simplistic. Um, you know, the, the background is uh, not as uh, fancy. You know, the newer ones have uh, fancy backgrounds. This one is just a plain, smooth uh, satin background with uh, the Kookaburra here on, on the branch. 2007. And the Queen. The smudge here is on the capsule. I already verified that. So these are my latest uh, pickups. And it uh, looks like my battery is about to die again, so let me do this pretty fairly quick. So I brought out my old, uh, my other Libertads to fill in the date series here. So I have a, um, this is a 1985, actually this goes off from the beginning, 82. This is the original year of release, 82. So 82, 83. 84, 85, 86. So these are my old ones. And now the more recent ones. Uh, let's see, 2000, what do I have here? 2003 is the new design. 2003, oops. Apologies for that. Uh, 2008. Okay, then the 2012 that I just picked up. 2013. Uh, let me move this up. And then here's the 2014. 2015. And last year's version, 2000, actually the, this one was 2016, and here's 2015. So here are my Libertades. I think I, I, think I have a 2000 also, but um, that's in a 2x2 two two flip uh, case, so I didn't bring that out. So here are my pickups for the last week. I love my Libertades. So that is it for today, everybody. Um, actually, I just want to make another comment on the uh, copper coins here. Uh, these are pretty nice designs, like I mentioned earlier, and uh, um, I won't be stacking them uh, you know, immensely. I'll just pick up like one or two here and there. But since they're a dollar, um, they're pretty cheap. If you happen to be picking up silver from Provident, it may be, I mean, 
uh, it may be worthwhile for you, or actually I will be doing, I'll be picking up some more maybe of these, of the different designs. I think there's a buffalo and there's a panda that I didn't get, so um, we'll be expanding these uh, copper uh, uh, rounds. Okay, well, thanks again, everybody. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Talk with you next time.